It's a gorgeous little creature and it's the kind of creature that we want to make sure can persist. My name is Jessica Hellman and I'm an associate professor in the Department of Biological Sciences and the Environmental Change Initiative at the University of Notre Dame. Here at the Indiana Dunes, we have this fabulous, very unique ecosystem. What we're studying is an insect called the Carner Blue Butterfly. It's a federally listed endangered species and it lives only in spots just like this one. The problem facing the Carner Blue Butterfly and other species like it is that the world is getting warmer and we need to figure out whether or not it can adapt to those changing conditions. It might not be able to on its own. And the challenge for climate adaptation scientists is to help resolve this issue, to help figure out what we might be able to do or what managers might be able to do to help the Carner Blue Butterfly adapt to changing conditions. And so we're pursuing a research project in collaboration with the National Park Service and the U.S. Geologic Survey to study what is the impact of climate change on this particular insect. And one of the things we need to understand is if the climate changes here at Indiana Dunes, can that butterfly persist here? Or does it need to be in some other location? So you might think that butterflies could adapt to climate change pretty easily, that they could just move to a place where the climate is suitable in the future because they can fly. But the carnivore blue butterfly is like many, many other butterflies in that can only use certain food plants. And the plant that the carner eats is called lupin. So the carnivore blue can't live anywhere where it doesn't have lupin, and it can't move anywhere where there isn't lupin. So the carnivore blue, just like many other butterflies, is completely dependent on its food plant in terms of where it can live and its ability to thrive. The possibility that species might not be able to adapt to these changing conditions on their own raises a really interesting dilemma for humans. What should we do? For example, we might be able to put species, help them move to the locations that might be suitable in the future. Will that work? Is it the right thing to do? How do we go about doing it? Where should we put them? Lots of species could be sensitive to a warmer world, could respond to this warmer world, just like the carnivore blue butterfly. And if they can't adapt to those changing conditions, then humans need to figure out what we might be able to do to help, to prevent those species from going extinct. And this applies to the carnivore blue. It also might apply to species like forest trees, or marine corals, or polar bears, species that are important to us and that are important to the way the world works. We need to be able to distinguish between the species that have those built-in tolerances or occupy habitats that are more resistant to a climate change event and those that are more vulnerable. And then we have to ask ourselves, what are we willing to do and how much are we willing to intervene and to help and to manage to preserve those species that have those vulnerabilities. Mm -hmm.